Hi, this week we dived the MV Nastaran and what a dive we had. The visibility was fantastic. The best I've ever seen on the Nastaran and we really enjoyed the dive. The MV Nastaran is a, well was, it was commissioned in 1945 for the US Navy and was a landing ship medium, LSM. Um, she started her um, career in Coral Grove, Florida and we don't know when she was decommissioned from the Navy but we do know that she was sold in 1958 to a company called Chip and Power Inc and renamed the MV Barker. I don't know what she was used for but in 1967 she was um, sold to Iranian American company. Remember in 1967 Iran and America were very close allies, very good friends. Originally named the MV Hanint Oil, number 22, and then her name was changed to the MV Nastaran, still owned by the same company. On the 23rd of March 1970, she floundered in heavy seas carrying a cargo of stone and unfortunately with the loss of five lives, but nine people were saved. She lies upside down. She has broken up a little bit over time since I last dived her anyway and so there are now some some fairly safe swim throughs which we didn't have before and you can get in up into the engine room in this wreck but as usual you know I'm going to give the caveat make sure you're an experienced certified wreck diver you tie off and you do it correctly. Please do not attempt to go into the engine room on the Nastaran if you've not been trained because it will silt up and you will find difficulty in finding your way out. So that said, let's go on the Nastaran. After the Nastaran, we did an extra dive. We started to do two dives a day now because the, the weather's good. So we went on onto the Victoria Star and that was a, a good dive. Not as nice as the Nastaran where we had no current and excellent visibility, a little bit current at the end. We got on the Nastaran, there was a slight current, but we didn't need to use scooters. And again, it was quite a good dive. And I did manage for the first time ever to film some little baby juvenile yellow bar angel fish, which for me was a result. And you'll see that in the video. Okay, we're ready. That's us out of the Creek Marina. We're off to the Nastaran. Looks like we've got flat seas. We've not got particularly brilliant tides. The tidal coefficient is above 80, um, but it's low water now. Uh, we're planning to dive at just after the midpoint between low and high. Um, so the current should be start to ease off then. And we're on scooters anyway. The Nastaran's a small wreck. We don't really need them, but we're just being prepared if the currents um, more than we expect. All in all, looks to be a nice day, nice calm seas. Um, yeah, really good. And we've got the wolf on board today. Come here. Sit. Sit. Say hello to everyone, wolf. Here's wolf. There's wolf. He wants to drive the boat. Oh, he's having a look now. Nice trip, early morning, down the Creek. I never tire of old seeing old Dubai and there is big development going on at the moment in this area and the new Shindaga bridge is nearly closed um, there's a traditional fishing dow I love the, sh the lines of those craft so the transit through the canal beautiful flat seas today and it was looking like we had no wind or hardly any wind look at the flag and no current um, which is amazing um, but we were at about mid tide now um, we did have uh, there's a fishing boat um, in the distance on the wreck um, looking for his um, gargoyles or traditional um, fishing pots and there she is we found her really quick thanks to the help of the fishermen in with the shot you can see we always shot before we um, throw the anchor in it just makes makes it easier all round. We can come into wind or into current and anchor nicely. So down the line we go and what fantastic viz we had. So we set the anchor and um, we always put a lift bag on the anchor. We don't like to drag it when we leave. Um, 
and we proceeded around the Nastaran. So a little bit more about the Nastaran. As I said, she was a landing ship medium for the US Navy, entered service in 1945. She was built by Brown Shipbuilding in Houston. She's 62 meters long, 10 point or 10 meters wide with a draft of around 2.5 meters, according to the information that I have. Um, 1,095 tons displacement, and she was powered um, with two uh, Fairbanks Morse engines, each with 1,440 brake horsepower, bringing a total power of 2,880 horsepower, and she traveled at 12 knots. Um, so let's talk about the wreck. We've got some easy swim throughs now, which were never there before, which indicate the wreck is starting to break up. Um, you can, as I said earlier, get into the engine room. Um, if we were to turn left here on the starboard side, we could go up and get into the engine room, but we chose not to. Um, there is some footage from Stevie where he's starting to have a scout round. Nice easy swim through from starboard to port there or vice versa um, not as much big marine life as I thought you know I would have thought we'd have some barracudas or possibly some queen fish it is a big fishing site with local fishermen but um, we were just uh, truly amazed with the viz so I wasn't really focusing on the marine life here we are on the stern um, first time ever I've seen it like this you can see the rudders there um, and you could just swim through but as I say relatively um, small fish around lots of them of course um, here you can see the shafts just to the left um, on top of the wreck the visibility was even even nicer um, and you know it was just amazing just amazing here we are you can see the shafts and the rudders the props have been removed um, some divers did that a while back I know who they were but they didn't manage to keep the props because they were caught by Ajman police towing them back anyway um, on top of the wreck now we're back inside this is some of um, Stevie's footage I believe where he's having a, a scout round with Diane um, nice good viz inside but you have to be really really careful in this wreck because it will silt up uh, in years gone by it has happened to us and, you know, and, and thankfully because we'd rope we'd roped off correctly we could find the exit um, but this is not for the untrained inexperienced wreck diver at all it looks easy but believe you me once you get in a confined space and it silts up um, you get worried very very quickly but having said that if you control your buoyancy you can see the visibility is really nice. So we end the, end the dive on the stern, go along the, the hole, and that's it. We've just had an absolutely fantastic dive on the Nastaran. The visibility was superb. No current when we went down. It was I've never ever seen it as nice as we did today. So hopefully the video comes out well. So really, really good dive. A um, little bit of current right in, very slight, but really good conditions all round. And when we can, when you consider we had a, a high tidal coefficient today, I was surprised. But I think the key is, is diving these wrecks on a rising tide. There he goes. <laughs> He even has his own bucket on board for his water. You can see all the ships at Anchorage over there. As far as the eye can see, the ships all over the place. You can see the effect COVID has had on world trade. Well, we decided to do a second dive. So we're off to the Victoria Star. With conditions like this, we don't get them very often. So after last week's really poor viz, this week looks to be much better.
So down the line we go. Um, regular subscribers to the channel will know that we um, regularly dive a Victoria Star. And the Viz wasn't too bad. It wasn't, wasn't as nice as the Nastaran. But it was still pretty good. We had a slight current, but quite light, you know. Definitely we didn't need to have scooters on this dive. Um, I focused on trying to get some nice footage of yellow bars. Um, this guy was, was, was pretty good. Um, I also used it as the opportunity, because the Viz was nice, to test the Polar Pro um, filters and that'll be um, that'll be in my GoPro and Paralens journey series pretty soon. But really, nothing special on this dive um, except nice Viz, good conditions, so we just enjoyed the wreck. Um, of course, um, Stevie and Badger couldn't resist going in, that'll come up soon. But I did find these little baby yellow bars. You can see the, the babies because they've got no stripe yet. They do look like the Arabian angelfish, but they're not. So there's always lots of fish life on the Victoria Star. Um, really never disappoints. This is where, of course, I did the Critter Hunters Batfish Challenge, so it's been good to me. I don't know what it is with yellow bar angelfish, I just love them. I think it's because they're inquisitive, I think it's because they're easy to film as well. So now the guys have gone inside, or starting to look where to go. So up comes some nice footage from inside this wreck. Fairly easy to penetrate, nice swim throughs. Um, for people who are newly certified as wreck divers, this is a nice wreck. Um, the prop, as you can see, is still intact. Um, and you can swim through that. Um, here you can see the current picking up a bit with the, the way the particles are moving. Back deeper inside now, and then outside. These are the cargo, they were some sort of building blocks that the, the vessel was carrying when she floundered. This is on top of the, of the wheelhouse area. Really good viz up there, and better than down on, on the decks. This is footage by Stevie, by Badger. Just finished our second dive um, on Victoria Star. The viz wasn't as, as nice as Nastaran, but we didn't expect that. But we did get some nice viz on top of the um, wheelhouse and the accommodation at the back, surprisingly. Um, the current was running, but nothing we couldn't handle. We didn't need scooters. So, but yeah, good dive. So we've just come back off the Victoria Star, literally 30 minutes back to the entrance of the Corniche Canal, as I call it. So we'll be back probably on the dock in around 45 minutes, which is great. We haven't got to go through the, the Dubai Canal, just this little short one, which is a shortcut because we don't have to go around Dira Islands anymore. Really changed our diving for the Nastaran, Dara and Victoria Star. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it was great days diving compared to last week where we had really bad viz. That's how it changes in Dubai. So thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe and like button and I'll see you next time.